Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'm going to be reading is 778. I wrote this last night. It's called A, Wo A World of Followers. And this is basically about, you know, I'm basically just saying, look, we live in a world where there are so many people that say they want to be unique, but they keep following everyone else's trend, whether it's a fashion style or, you know, that movie that they want to, you know, watch. Or, you know, like they really can't, I think that this generation really can't have a mind of their own. They say that they do, but they really don't because they're so worried about what's in. And that's more important than anything else because they want to fit in. Okay, so here it goes. A world of followers. A young girl is in front of a television screen, flipping her hair, imitating the twerking technique that Nicki Minaj is doing from one of her music videos. The girl's even reciting the lyrics to the song, her mother walks by the living room and shuts the TV off, telling her to do her homework. We live in a world filled with followers, but where, where are the leaders? A producer, director, and screenwriter are all sitting at a long table, having a meeting, planning on their next move, on this movie. The decision is to do a reboot. The screenwriter keeps shaking his head. Why don't we just toss this idea and come up with something new? The producer and director look at him and say, this is what the people want. We live in a world filled with followers, but where? Where are the leaders? I'm sitting at the gay bar. All of a sudden, Madonna comes on. I roll my eyes, not again. While the bartender says, I should take your gay card away. I look around and see almost every person voguing on the dance floor. We live in a world filled with followers, but where? Where are the leaders? My best friend is trying to get me to go to the movies with him. I saw the trailer. I have no interest in it whatsoever. And the only reason he wants to see it is because Rotten Tomatoes gave it good ratings. Oh, and of course the lead is a heartthrob. So it must be good, right? We live in a world filled with followers. But where? Where are the leaders? Yes, I have had my share of inspirations, of muses, of teachers. I admire Robert Frost. The Road Not Taken was the first poem I ever read. Stephen King... There are so many of his books that I like. It's kind of hard to pick, but Finders Keepers is pretty memorable. And Edgar Allan Poe, there was a time I was literally obsessed with his work, but I never ever wanted to lose my identity when it came to having a voice in my writing. We live in a world filled with followers, but where? Where are the leaders? The girl with all the magazines in her room makes sure she doesn't miss a month of her subscription. She needs to follow all of the new hairstyles, labels, makeup trends, and fashion. It's one of her beauty secrets on staying popular in school. Of course, everyone wants to be her. We live in a world filled with followers, but where? Where are the leaders? How about you dance your own way? How about you take that new idea and write the script? How about not caring if you don't have the same thing in common? How about choosing the movie that you actually want to see, no matter what it is? How about writing the story of your life exactly the way it is? Instead of wanting that awesome style on the cover of the magazine, how about creating your own? We live in a world filled with so many followers, so why not change that? Break the mold. Be a leader. They might not know it yet, but I promise it will be revolutionary.